G'day, welcome to Tech Math Channel. I'm Josh. I was trawling around the internet the other day and I saw this particular trick for squaring numbers up to 1000, so I thought I'd share it with you. So let's just get straight into this. So how fast can you square the following number without a calculator? So I'm going to get you to work out 403 squared. Now you can use pen and paper for this. Go. Okay, I reckon I'm going to start right about now solving this, and we'll see how I go. So, 16, 0, 0, 0, 9, and then I'm going to get 12, I'm going to make that 24, and now I've got my answer, which is going to be 16, 24, 0, 9. And that's how fast you can square numbers uh, using this particular method. It's a pretty cool one, right? So how did you go? I tell you what, I'm going to get back to this one and then you can see if you can do it as fast. So I'm going to show you this technique for squaring numbers up to 1000. But before we get there, okay, I'm going to show you a couple of the smaller numbers first. Just let's walk before we can run, so to speak. Trust me, it's better this way. So anyway, I am going to come back to this one, 403. I promise I will, but I'm just going to go through a couple of other ones first, a couple of smaller ones. So I'm going to start with this particular uh Problem here, what about we do 67 squared? Now the way that this particular technique works is as follows. Now it does all the same calculations as traditionally squaring it, where you go 67 times 67 and work it out. But it just puts things in a more uh, convenient, coherent sort of order, where you can do them a whole lot faster. So the very, very first thing we do is we are going to square this first number here. So 6 squared is equal to 36. I'll put that down. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to square 7 here. So 7 squared is equal to 49. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to multiply these two digits, 6 times 7, and we're going to multiply then our answer by 2. So 6 7 to 42, double that times by 2, is equal to 84. Now all the same calculations that usually would occur have occurred, but they've just occurred in a separate order. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add our answer together. So when we do this, uh, we straight away what we get is this is a 9, 4 plus 4 is equal to 8, 6 plus 8 is equal to 14, so we'd carry the 1 there, and 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. There you go. And that's how this technique works. There is a bit of a tweak for our bigger numbers, so I'll get to those in a second. So what about, I'll keep that up there, I'll just go through a bit of a quick recap what we did, and then I'll give one for you to have a go to, and then we'll get to these big three digit numbers, right? So the first thing is we square this first digit, 6, 6, so 36. The second thing, we square the units digit here, 7, 7 to 49. And then we're going to multiply these two digits and then multiply them by two. We've got 84 and then we added the whole lot together. Pretty simple. Okay, so what about I give you one of these? I'm going to keep this one up here so you can, I guess you refer back to that. And what about we do 82 squared, a nice easy one. So give it a go. Now I'm going to go through it, okay? So 8 times 8 is equal to 64. 2 times 2, we're going to put that down as a two-digit number, a 0, 4. The next one, we multiply these two digits, and then we double our result. 2 times 8 is equal to 16. We double that, we get 32, yeah? And now what do we do? Final step, we add all our answers together. And this one we can just add directly over. So 6, 7, 2, 4, 6,724. So how would you go with that? Pretty all right? I'll tell you what, now it's the big R, the big Kahuna Burger, I guess, and we are going to get ourselves into three-digit numbers. How to do this with three-digit numbers, okay? The biggest one I guess you could probably pick up from this is if you have something like a, a four as your answer or a nine, put it down as zero, four, or zero, nine. That does matter, okay? So pretty simple. Let's go through and do three-digit numbers now. The way I'm going to do this is I'm going to go through the first one where I'm going to show it to you and how I would approach this, then I'd give one for you to do, and then I'm going to show you that one from the very start there, and we'll see how we uh, go with that. So anyway, this is much the same as that first part we did, but with a couple of tweaks. So let's just start this out straight away. So what about the example of 512 squared? Now, how would I go about doing this? Well, first off, we're just going to go through and square each one of these digits here. So 5 squared, 5 times 5 is 25. Uh, 1 times 1 is equal to 1, which we're going to write down as 0, 1, and 2 times 2 is equal to 4. We're going to write this down as 0, 4. The next thing, we're going to now multiply these two digits and double it, and then we're going to multiply these two digits and double them and put down our results. So 5 times 1 is equal to 5, times 2 is equal to 10. So I'm going to put that down right here, and 2 times 1 is equal to 2, and then we're going to double that and we get the answer of 4. 
All right, pretty simple. And last of all, we have to do one extra step. We're going to be multiplying the 2 by the 5 here, okay? So 2 times 5, and then we're going to double that answer as well. And we're going to dump the answer right in the middle here. So 5 times 2 is equal to 10, and then double that, you get the answer of 20. All right, so now what do we do? We're going to add all these together. I don't know if we can just do these straight down, nice and easy, and let's do that. So this is going to be a 2, 5 plus 1 is 6, 0 plus 0 plus 2 is equal to 2, 1 plus 0 plus 0 is equal to 1, 0 plus 4 is equal to 4, and this one is also going to be a 4. Our answer is 262,144. And as you'll see, we didn't get away with not doing any of the calculations there, we just did them in a different order. It's just a different technique for doing it. You may or may not use it like anything in life. So what about I give you an example to do for yourself right now, and then I'm going to get to that first example, which you're going to see these are really, really, really quite simple to do. I did choose that one specifically, by the way. So what about I give you one of these? Um, I'm just going to pick a random one here and hopefully get the answer right. Uh, what about we do 362? All right, I made this one a bit harder, right? Bigger numbers. I chose a nice, easy one for myself. Choose a harder one for you. Better that you look the fool than me, right? So let's get the first numbers here. So we square 3, we get the answer of 9. I'm going to put down a 0, 9. I know we don't need to, but it might help with the placement in a little bit. We're going to square 6 next, we're going to get this answer of 36, and then we're going to square 2, we get the answer of 4. Okay, now what do we do? We're going to multiply these numbers and then double them. 3 6 is 18, double that, that's going to be 36. 6 2 is 12, double that, we're going to get 24. Last of all, uh, 3 2 is 6, double that, we get the answer of 12. And we just go through now and add these. I reckon I am going to do this uh, right to left. So we're going to get a 4 here. 0 plus 4 is equal to 4. 6 plus 2 plus 2, that's equal to 10. Carry that 1 there. Uh, 3 plus 6 is equal to 9. Plus 1 is equal to 10. Plus 1 is equal to 11. Carry that 1. And then we're going to get 1 plus 9 is equal to 10. Plus 3 is 13. 131,044. So how did you go on that? Did you get that answer? Oh well, it's not a bad technique, right? It's a pretty simple one to do. So now I'm going to show you the example from the very start. Okay, the question from the very start, you thought I would have got to that one first, but hey, you're going to leave you hanging for something, right? And let's put this one down, 403 squared. I reckon you'll be able to give it a fair fly now and give it a go and see how fast you can do it. But I'm going to tell you what makes this easier, because we have multiplication by zero, it makes some of these calculations really basic. So 4 squared is equal to 16, 0 squared, 0, 0, and then 3 squared is equal to 9. There you go. The next one. We're going to multiply these guys, and then we're going to get zero, so we don't have to worry about it. We're going to multiply these guys, we get zero, so we don't have to worry about it. The only one we have to worry about is 4 times 3, and doubling that, and we're going to dump that right in the middle. 4 threes are 12, put the 24 there, and as you can see, I can just add these straight across. 1, 6, 2, 4, 0, 9, and we have our answer, right? These ones where they have a zero in the middle, really basic to deal with. But I'll tell you what, I'm going to give you one of these, and then you can feel really, really smart about yourself. And why not? You've learned something today, you should feel smart about yourself. I'm going to give you one. Okay, the one I'm going to give to you, zero in the middle, 607 squared, all right? And see, you should be able to do this pretty quickly. I reckon you can almost do this directly. In fact, I am going to try that, and I haven't tried this before, so this is going to be live. So I screw up. Well, I'll probably edit this out, but I don't think I will. So 6 times 6 is equal to 36. Now, we know that that 0 here is going to put two zeros in the middle. So let's just work out this middle part first. 6 7s are 42, and double that, we're going to get the answer of 84. We know we're going to be adding that on, so let's just do that right now. And then 7 7s are 49. Hey, pretty cruisy, right? We have ourselves our answer straight away. Hey, I reckon that worked. I reckon that was pretty cool. I'm going to give one more of those a go. So let's go, a uh, nice easy one, let's go 306 squared. And I know you kind of look at it and go, you're choosing easy ones. Hey, they're all pretty easy, right, when you really look at it. They're not that bad. So 3 squared is equal to 9. Now, I'm not even going to put the 0 there because I know I'm not going to be playing with that later. Uh, 0, 0 is going to give me 0, so I'm just going to worry about this, this part here. 3 times 6 is equal to 18. Double that, going to get the answer of 36. And then 6 6s. Uh, 36 is our answer, 93,636. Anyway, that's a great little technique that I uh, spotted and I thought you might be really interested in knowing. And if you like it, give me a thumbs up, put it in the comments. You're going to be probably telling me things like, hey, this is just doing exactly the same calculations, but just in a different order. 
Hey, I told you that already, right? It's exactly what it is, okay? With maths, you often can't get away with doing the calculations you have to do. Sometimes it's about working them in a smarter order. So a big shout out to my uh, subscribers and patrons and all you people who have watched and stuck with me this far. Um, you take care of yourself and we'll see you next time.